Welcome back to Pearly Planet. For today's Pearly Bead DIY, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this DIY Pearly Bead Laced Heart. This is one of my all-time most favorite unique things I have ever done before. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's get started. This heart is split up into two different colors. So first, I'm going to do the green color and finish that up and then fill the rest in with the other color. done with the creation not the DIY go to put your wax layer on and iron you want to make sure that your creation is not ironed all the way so you want to make sure it still has holes in it so you can stick all the strings through the threads you will be needing is like a magenta one and a light green one optional which is what is actually in the original Pinterest post is more of a yellow one but I'm going to do more of a light green one so these are the only two colors you'll be needing so I'm going to start by threading the bigger ones and you want to make sure you're threading the opposite bead color to the opposite string color and as you progress throughout this video you will see exactly where you need to go. It may take a couple times because it did take me but you guys will figure it out. I know it. So this is what it looks like and we're going to do the same thing with the other color to this side except we're going to have to go up for these two. So this is just what this one looked like. Next, we're going to be working with the green square, the 4x4 one, and you first want to make a box inside of it, and then you're going to do a little crisscross effect, which I will talk about later on. So if you guys need a little more help on the cross technique, basically you want to start on one side and go to the diagonal side. You just want to either do this one or that one. It does not really matter what you go through. And you do the same thing and then go do your other diagonal. Now we're going to do even more crisscrosses. To finish off, we're gonna do basically these things on these, which is go in and then back out for these three of them. Tying them is a bit difficult, you're gonna have to do it about like three or four times. So basically, you just want to pull it down and you want to make sure you get to the bottom of it. So you had to pull that down and then tighten it. So it should look something like this, and when it won't go through, go ahead and cut it to about like a centimeter. If you cannot actually knot it, then you can just put a piece of tape over it, and you really can't even see anything. And that is the finished product. I think this looks so, so adorable. It's so unique and so amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and try these at home. This is absolutely so adorable. So make sure to like it up and also subscribe if you haven't already for new Pearly Bee DIYs the first Friday of every month. Thanks everyone so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye everyone. Love you all so much.